I mean, like, the job come from being in jail, bro. When you just watching that time pass you, and you can't do nothing about it. Like, you can't change the situation. It ain't like you can say, all right, fuck it. Let me go to the studio today. Let me shoot a video today. You can't do nothing. You in your cell just, 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 just think about mad shit. All you in your cell doing is reminiscing and stressing out. So, me being in jail, it like it changed my mindset. It made me, it made me say, all right, when I get home, I'm not wasting no time. If I'm not in the studio, if I'm not working on anything pertaining music, I'm doing something to make me money, or I'm, I'm, I'm chilling with my family, or I feel like I don't have no free time. All my time is accounted for. It's either I'm gonna make music, I'm gonna make money, or I'm gonna be with my family. That's bro, I don't give a fuck what they say. Like, that's my brother. I don't, I'm not here to make nobody feel happy. If you ain't jacking it, you ain't jacking it. When you see us, then do whatever you gonna do. You know, like, family is family no matter what. It don't matter what gang they is, what they jacking, what they chill at. If that's my family, that's my family. Family over everything. Mm, I feel like Brooklyn will never follow in, my, in those footsteps. Everybody is like, a lot of, not everybody, let, let me rephrase my words, not everybody, but like certain people is clout chasing. They want to have beef with you and for nothing, they don't even know you. They just want to do it. So to try to get some clout off you, to record you and do all type of weird shit, bro. A lot of people is weird. Like I'm just, I was raised from different people. I'm from a different neighborhood and I'm cut from a different cloth. So I don't do that. I don't drop nothing in my videos. I don't disrespect nobody. It is what it is. Like if we got smoke, then when we see each other, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. But I don't like make songs about you and make videos. Try to, I don't do shit like that, bro. Like, I'm a man. I feel like I respect everybody. If you don't give me that same respect back, then it is what it is, bro. That's it. Like I'm not like I'm not looking for beef for nobody, bro. All I want to do is work and make money, bro. I'm not trying to be out here beefing or lose my life over some silly shit, but I'm gonna protect my life at all costs, bro. That's, that's just basically it. I feel like me not smoking had me more focused because the weed have you like more lazy and more like you could fall asleep faster. Me off no drugs is being the focus. Like, I be focused, I'm up all day, I can focus, I could I could do anything, bro. I could be in this shit for 30 hours straight. Not tired, not nothing. Off the weed, I would've been with the sleep, bro. This shit would've been over. Like, I, me, actually, me not smoking, I feel like that helped me out, though. That shit, like, I got a clear mind now. I folk, I'm, I'm able to focus more, bro. I, 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 I pay attention to everything now. Like, I was I was lacking off the drugs. I'm glad that I don't do drugs no more. I ain't lacking, I, I, I'm focused. I pay attention to everything. Well, um, they can hit me up. You can hit my, um, my Facebook, my Instagram, Bando underscore black underscore, that's Instagram. Or Facebook, Bando black. They can hit my brother Sims. Um, what's, your, what's your Instagram, bro? Gutter the Boss. Gutter the Boss on Instagram. You know what I mean? I mean, we got the sweatsuits or whatever was going on. Seventy dollars for the for the top and the pants. You see the logo or song? It. I'm saying, gang shit. They know the vibe. Let them check it out and shit. Gang shit. You know, gang. big DG shit. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to be on some entrepreneur shit. You know, like I feel like I'm. Sp I spend all my money with these white people. With these, with these Amaris and Javinci's and Louis Vuittons. Them people don't give a fuck about us, bro. For real, we could spend a million dollars, two million dollars, they still don't give a fuck about you, yeah? So I feel like why not start my own shit? Why not try to be an entrepreneur? Why not try to keep some of that money within the family, within the team, you yeah? know? Growing up in Brownville was rough, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, like, it's either, like, you gonna survive or you gonna be a bitch. Like, it's like, that shit, bro, that shit is different. Like, a lot of people think that's a joke. Like, we just we just be saying that just to say it. But that shit was really different though. Like, niggas was spinning through. It don't matter if we was 12 or we was 18, they was blown. 
at any of us. Like, I, I was 12, 11, seeing people die that was in my grade. They was in school with me, they was in my class. But like, that shit had me on some shit like, nah, I ain't, this shit not a joke, like, this shit for real. Like, if any nigga from Brownville tell you that they don't wanna get out the hood, they wanna stay there, they lying. Everybody growing up, I feel like not just Brownville, any project period, you growing up in the projects in the hood, you want to get out of it. It's not like, oh, I'm saying oh, I got money and I was fucked the hood. No, like, I still got love for the hood. I still try to give back to my neighborhood, but nobody wants to stay here because it's either you going to go to jail or you going to die or you going to do something legit and make it out of that shit because you're not surviving staying in that shit forever. Bro. That shit is like a thousand crabs in a barrel. I say that every time. That shit is a thousand crabs in the back. All they gonna do is try to pull you back down. And that's nothing that nobody need. Shit feel good, bro. Like, before I left, I was doing shows and shit. Now I'm back. Dropped a couple songs. They all reaching out. That shit feel good. I just love to entertain. Like, I was made for this shit, bro. I love to entertain the people. I love to perform my music. If they rock with it or not, like, it just, you know? But I never had no negative feedback, bro. Like, I'm not just saying that because it's me and like I really never had no negative feedback. I do shows, we perform, I bring the bros out with me and we just we turn up everywhere. And the people be jacking me. Like I really love I like I love doing this shit. Like it makes me happy. I feel good after I get off the stage and everybody giving me pounds, like yo bro, that shit was fire, bro. Yo, yo, bro, yo, take my Instagram, yo, bro. What's your Instagram? Yo, I wanna work with you. That shit feel good, bro, because I come from nothing. Like I come from standing on corners and blocks and trying to find a way to make money and having nothing, so that shit feel good, bro. I know I'm gonna be the next one, you know. I don't think I know, but it depends what they talking about, cause like I know money. I done made money off the being on the block and being on the streets and doing the thing, the activities that I did. We done seen money, so. I'm not gonna sell my soul for fame. Like, that's that's not what I want out of life. I want to be able to, if I sign a deal, it gotta benefit me financially. Like, I can't just sell my life away, bro. Everything, anything that I do, it has to be a positive move. It has to benefit me in a positive way. I'm not just looking for clout. I, I'd rather just keep doing what I'm doing to just sell my soul to these people and they just shelf me or you make one song then it's over, nobody hear from you again. Like if they talking to me nice, I'm not signing no 360 deals. I'd rather just stay independent, try to make one of these hits and just get straight show money. But I don't split with nobody, but I just do what I do on my own. Even if I'm making 10 bands, nine bands, it don't matter. 10 bands, 100 shows, you do the math. So. They know what's going on, bro. A bunch of videos, mixtape coming soon. We pushing the we pushing the drop it before Thanksgiving, but if not, it's coming a little bit after Thanksgiving. But the goal is to drop it before Thanksgiving. Mixtape called No Breaks. We gonna fuck the streets out. I'm trying to make it where every song is fire. You don't have to press skip. You don't have to fast forward. Nothing. You could just listen to the whole tape. And say, yeah, that shit was fire. I ain't gonna lie. That's my goal. Yeah, I, I try to just keep it a little bit, you know, a little calm, not really reach out too much because I just want the people to hear me. If you wanna hear him or her or the other nigga, then you go tune into their shit. My mixtape is for you to hear me. But I got a few people on there. Shout out to my bro Max. Shout out to the sis Deej. I don't know if that song will go on there, but. That's the sis though, I made a hit with her. Shout out to her, shout out to my bro Mills. Shout out to the bro Fabio. You know, just, 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 just stay in tune, man. Cause it, it, it's gonna be a lot of sneaky shit on there for the people that, that that's gonna bust your head. So just, just stay in tune, man.